to provide some context before I start I go to a university which used to be a mental institution. The hospital shut around 40 years ago after being in operation for over 120 years. Some of the poor souls who had been patients were tortured in the basement and lost their lives. Some of the old buildings which were built for the hospital are still standing including the basement which was used for torture. These buildings aren't used to teach in anymore yet are still near the buildings used and in the small country I'm from it's an infamous paranormal hotspot. My experience starts with helping out my grandparents clean up their house. I used to be a skeptic yet after this I truly do believe in the paranormal and that there are simply some things in this world science simply can't explain. I was tidying up their storage room and came across an old silver back mirror. It had beautiful hand carvings on the old wooden frame and the mirror had slightly rusted. I took it over to my grandparents to show them my discovery and they ended up gifting it to me even though I encouraged them to sell it. I took it home and proudly hung it on a wall in my bedroom which which is something I will come to later regret. The first sign I had that something was off was the fact that one of my vets entered my room, stared at the mirror and began hissing. I didn't think much of it and thought it might just be new smells and he didn't like it. My grandparents' cat did like to sleep in their storage room after all. That night my oldest cat stayed with me staring at the mirror the whole night. I didn't sleep as he was freaking me out. That morning I went to university and as soon as I stepped on campus I felt as if I were being watched. I felt eyes burning into the back of my head yet no one was there and had a feeling of impending doom in my stomach. I couldn't pay attention to any lectures that day as this feeling was so strong and I felt this odd energy. Throughout the day my devices kept disconnecting from the Wi-Fi, shutting down at random, and losing charge really fast. At the end of my last lecture I almost sprinted to the bus stop in hopes this feeling would go away. It didn't. The buses I got on to were quiet yet full which is an odd occurrence. I felt these eyes on me the whole way home. When I did get home both my cats refused to go near me and instead hissing and sprinting off. They also didn't go near my room. I was terrified that night and didn't want to go to sleep yet the tiredness from the night before got the best of me. I woke in the early hours of the morning to the old mirror falling off the wall. The power was out and when I checked out my window it was only my house. That made me begin to shake. I was hearing whispers which I couldn't make out the words of and the voice was raspy and draw. I tried to focus on my breathing telling myself that it was my own imagination yet the utter coldness of my room in the summer heat made me doubt it. It wasn't until the first light of the morning sun the whispers stopped and the power went back on and the cold disappeared. I had spent that whole night staring at where the mirror fell yet when the light hit the area it was still there only with a shard of glass on the ground too perfectly cut to be a coincidence. I wish that was when I took the mirror down and buried it in the earth to hopefully stop everything but it wasn't. I was too scared to touch it. My cats avoided me that day as well. I didn't have any lectures and ended up sleeping on the couch. That night at the same exact time I woke up the night before the whispers began again. This time they were louder and it sounded like two different voices. I had a torch beside my bed that night and turned it on towards the mirror. I wish I didn't. These two hunched figures got illuminated. They were easily 8 feet tall and had eyes which shone red in the light. They were a dark shade of black which didn't reflect the light and turned their porcelain white faces towards me with creepy smiles as if they had been cut into the faces. I was too scared to move let alone scream and just stared at these two beings who were holding the mirror. The creatures were staring at me as I at them the entire night and like clockwork with the first ray of sunlight they disappeared and the power went back on. The only thing left was the mirror now completely shut shattered on my floor and a light mist which smelt of rotting flesh. The later days my cats began to get near me again and I felt the weird energy was gone. I had picked up all the glass and buried it in a field near my house. I haven't experienced anything odd since yet as this only happened a few months ago I won't get my hopes up. I ended up talking to my grandparents about the mirror and they mentioned how they purchased it from the old mental hospital which I now go to for university when it was closing down. I mentioned the mirror to one of my lecturers as well and he looked scared and asked me to describe it to him. 
He showed me a picture and asked if the mirror looked like the one in that and it was almost identical. The picture was from the basement which was where the patients used to get to orchard. Apparently the hospital had three mirrors like it which were handcrafted for the hospital when it opened in the 1800s with only one not being sold. These mirrors stayed in the basement for the whole time they were operational and the patients were forced to stare into them as they were being to orchard. I don't know what those creatures were but I knew they were attached to these mirrors, I hope to never experience anything remotely similar again as I've got goosebumps just writing this story. I don't know what the future will bring, if these things will return and what this experience meant yet I hope this can provide a warning to all. Be careful about the products you buy and always trust